Now we need an ABI to use it in this tutorial. Now, the team who is responsible for building the ABIs is the back-end team. So, the, make, building the ABIs is not our responsibility. So, we're going to use this wonderful website to create our ABIs that we're going to use in this tutorial. Let's create a new project. The website is called Mock ABI. You can just open it and register. I will leave this website, the link in the description. Let's call the project name is Mock store API let's let's skip this and create our API now let's create let's open our project and create a new endpoint let's call it box this this will generate an endpoint that we're gonna fetch it is the schema of our ABIs, I mean the property of it, the ID of the POC, the created ad of the POC, the name, let's call it author, that's the author of the POC. Let's make this avatar is a cover photo, this is the cover of the POC. Let's make it image, dot image URL. Here, here the, the Mock API website allow us to create a, a dummy data for you. You just type the, the data, the type of data that you want. Name dot full name will, will generate a full name of the author for us, and the cover will generate an image for us. Let's let's add a new key. Let's call it the name of Pop. Name of Pop. Name of Pop. Let's make it Hector.js. Let's make it, uh, for example, company with name. It will doesn't matter. We will create our box with our names. Don't worry. And now let's create our great API. If we if we press here, we will get empty array. Our API that we're gonna fetch has no data yet, but mock API allow us to add some dummy data. Let's, let's for example, add three pops. If we press here again, we got an array with three objects. The mock API gave us three objects, I mean three pops. We're gonna fetch in this tutorial. So I think mock API is a great tool to use it as a beginner.